I'm going to tell you something. It is something that you probably did not know. Or maybe you already knew about it. But you just didn't have the courage to accept it. Well, the thing is, um, nobody cares. No one. No one. Not even the people that you would expect to have your back. Or to really believe in what it is that you want to achieve or the things that you want to do. And part of the reasons as to why that is the case is, well, It could be an issue that involves, well, you caring too much about what other people think about you. If that's even the truth. Or it could be a matter of people being too busy rushing to die. What I mean by that is there are people out there that felt the very same way. They don't feel a sense of care, a sense of acknowledgement. Now, regardless of who those people are, or whether or not you are one of them, who feels Isolated, thrown under the bus. I think what truly matters in that regard is what you do with that realization. You can utilize the mere fact that no one truly cares about you as either fuel, as motivation or inspiration to truly be free and to really stay comfortable in your own skin and in your own flaws. as a means of 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 agony you can look at that realization as a painful reminder of how useless you, you may think you are. Speaking of thinking, 
You ever heard the term, you are what you think? Whomever came up with that was pretty spot on. We are exactly what we think. We are exactly what we interpret in our minds. Goddamn cops. But anyway, so... I like the brain. I love the brain so much. The brain, and I'm not even just talking about the human brain, I'm speaking generally about the brain. a fancy name you want to call it. I love it simply for the very things that it is capable of doing. The things that it has already done. of not even the amount the infinite infinite possibilities of what we can do with this organism that is sitting in our skulls is just absolutely mind blowing no pun Think of all the historical, iconic monuments and structures that were made with the brain. Shit. Look at the Eiffel Tower. Look at the Statue of Liberty. Look at the pyramids of Egypt. Hell, look at the Great Wall of China. You know what I'm saying? Look at the Taj Mahal. The White House. The Leaning Tower. Go on, really, I could really go on about all these big ass inventions. I could go on, I can go on for hours and days on how beautiful the human brain is. How beautiful any type of information processor really is. You do realize that we have been walking and living with a computer literally inside our heads. A computer that holds infinite information, infinite data. It is probably, if 
greatest piece of technology known to man, known to all living things. It's a damn straight fact without the human brain. Technology wouldn't exist. Without the brain, shit. We wouldn't be having computers. I'd like to, in a way, also believe that without the brain, there would be no evolution. As a matter of fact, without the brain, we would have not been able to make up such a word like that, like evolution, for example. Mm-hmm. And because of my deep fascination for the brain. It also got me so, so, ever so fascinated by the concept of the undead Zombies, right? Hell yeah. Zombies. Man. I love, I I just love zombies. I love the concept of it all, I just love their their physicalities and what they physically um, display the mere sight of these things is just It's natural, yet unnatural at the same time. (laughs) If you get what I'm saying. The idea of seeing a decaying human body that is still alive. of seeing a living creature or at least a creature that once had immense intellect the idea of seeing that same being or her or their 
social. Such a bizarre yet thought provoking concept. Outside of the the whole bodily decay and the, the grotesqueness nature of zombies and their whole you know what I'm saying the whole um, I'm hungry I need blood and brains type of vibes they have. Outside of all that, what really, truly fascinates me about zombies, or whatever fancy name you want to call them, what fascinates me the most, at least to me, is... Just simply what it is that they truly represent to me. To me, they represent the end of human evolution. human evolution in reverse in my opinion because how can you learn how can you learn without experience way for you to truly experience or learn something is to is to get the brain involved the brain has to be present for us to live in the present and to learn about the present. I have this, um, I have this little um, personal belief that the human heart is what gives life, but the human brain is what gives life meaning. The human brain is what gives the person living in that life a reason to live, a purpose. healthy 
brain or with no brain, period. All you really have is the body. That's all you have. You just have the body. The body of which it probably won't ever know whether if it's alive or dead. Because the driver is absent. Pastor at your church. 
not your local grade school teacher. No one knows everything. Because no matter how much of information we obtain in our lifespans, there will always be something new. Something completely new that will arise. Sooner or later. You know what the scariest thing about? Life. To me what's so scary about life is how infinite it truly is. If life and even space is so infinite then so is knowledge. And if knowledge is infinite, our evolution is infinite too. Come to think of it all. Apes though. These things are probably the closest thing we got. To the Homo sapiens. Apes are in several ways are just as human as us. Basic but very, very human like. Both mentally, emotionally, and for the most part physically. And yet, we as human beings still treat them and look to them as if they are nothing but but mindless um, pieces of entertainment that need to be kept. Apes though, I mean just primates in general. They are just... They are just so... So fascinating and interesting to see and to... Observe and to study. So, again, goes back to the point of how powerful the brain is. The brain can create. The brain can destroy. The brain can learn. forget. The brain can take and the brain can lose. 
potential. 